Garbage men of Reddit, what's the most illegal, strange, or valuable thing you have seen while gathering people's trash? I work on a landfill site which is where all the rubbish ends up, so I get to see my fair share more than the average bean man. I'll start with some illegal things we found. Police in the local area had busted a huge cannabis grow house and brought all the equipment for growing to our site. We are talking about thousands of pounds, pound s not lbs, of lighting, timers, ventilation systems, hydroponics, the full monty. We are not allowed to take things home from the site. Unrelated bit of information, a friend of mine is growing cannabis now. Another illegal thing we found, which was also pretty fucking strange were a huge stash of porn magazines, chains, dildos, whips all kinds of sex toys. In amongst them were hundreds of loose polaroid photos which we had a brief look at before promptly closing the site and calling in the police. Boy and a girl, couldn't have been older than 7 or 8 the pair of them. We recognized the other items in the photographs. That was the second worst thing I have found on the site. Strange things, we really do get all sorts. One thing that come to mind, are the collection of fetish wear. Fi high latex boots, cause it's that kind of thing which one of our staff members casually remarked, were all the right size for his wife. We are not allowed to take things home from the site. Unrelated bit of information, a friend of mine's wife has some new clothes. As for valuable, one staff member found a set of jewelry which was quite good quality gold and managed to sell that for a fair few bob. The Apple shop in the nearest city had received a faulty batch of iPod Nanos when they were first released, so they got brought here. As far as we could tell the only problem with them was that the plastic cases were misformed and didn't fit together too well. They worked fine. We are not allowed to take things home from the site. Unrelated bit of information, a fair few of my friends like to listen to music. Hands down though the worst thing we've ever had on site was a miscarriage. The plant driver luckily saw it, before he ran over everything in the machine but fuck, that was horrific. Someone had just thrown it away in the bin. That was another whole police thing too. Anyway, we are not allowed to take things home from the site. Unrelated bit of information. This was in the 90s. My friend's dad found a big sack full of arcade tokens. Not sure how it is now, but back then the tokens were mostly standardized. My friend was in heaven. When former football player Ricky Williams briefly retired to become a spiritual guru in the hills he moved into a place that was on my recycling route. I noticed a box he tossed once and grabbed it to see if there was any memorabilia or football items related in it. It looked important. What was in it was teen doctor's papers, contracts and just about all the personal information that one would need to actually become Ricky Williams. I felt weird that this was out there, so I took it home and burned every piece of it in the fireplace. Felt guilty even looking at it as I tossed it. Not a garbage man, but I do know that garbage men regularly solve crimes. A couple weeks back, a restaurant that I used to work at was robbed of a large amount of cash. Three young gentlemen went in just before closing and hid in the bathroom, came out after the doors were locked, and it was just the manager, bartender, and owner. Three middle-aged women. They took the bartender and manager downstairs to the office, where the owner was with the open safe, put them all on the floor, robbed the safe, and bounced. In the safe was cash, rolled coin, and a gun safe with a pistol. They took everything. Unable to open the gun safe, they took a cutting wheel and torch to it, got it open, discarded the gun safe. Genius put it in his trash barrel, wheels it out to the curb. Trash man finds it the next day, the resident is arrested. Gives up the other two suspects. What a squad of geniuses. They would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for that meddling garbage man. And ignorance. Seasonal janitor here not really a garbage man per se, but I empty a lot of garbages. I found weed and alcohol which I kept, meth pipe slash needles which I did not. Let's see, I found a razor scooter last year, that was pretty sweet. Um, an iPad nano, a car stereo face, cash, $20 sign. Once found a wallet at one of our parks with about 5000 cash in hundreds. Saw the guy in the park and returned it though, no reward. Dick. Pocket knives, abandoned kittens, lots of lighters, the list goes on and on. Finally my time to shine. I worked as sort of a secondary garbage man, 
I was on the truck when they needed an extra hand or the main guy was sick, and from the short time I have a list of the things I found, and some of the more valuable things the other guys acquired. Mind you this is from a small Canadian town. A working PS3. A working iPhone 4. This was before the 5 was introduced. Two laptop computers. Monitors were broken. And nothing else. Multiple desktop PCS. An FM transmitter. Every tool you would ever need. An N64 with a few games. Five bottles of unopened hard liquor. All sorts of hunting equipment. And furniture. Lots of good furniture that I ended up refurbishing and selling. A lot of what I found was technology, simply because I had a knife for it. The main garbage man had a room in his house, dedicated to the things he found. From $400 snow boards to full toolboxes and audio systems. And the truck driver made about an extra $500 every two months from recycling cans people would throw out. I also stumbled across a $100 bill once at the landfill. Finally my time to shine. I worked as sort of a secondary garbage man. I was on the truck when they needed an extra hand or the main guy was sick, and from the short time I have a list of the things I found, and some of the more valuable things the other guys acquired. Mind you this is from a small Canadian town. A working PS3. A working iPhone 4. This was before the 5 was introduced. Two laptop computers. Monitors were broken and nothing else, multiple desktop PCS, an FM transmitter, every tool you would ever need, an N64 with a few games, five bottles of unopened hard liquor, all sorts of hunting equipment, and furniture, lots of good furniture, that I ended up refurbishing and selling, a lot of what I found was technology, simply because I had a knife for it, the main garbage man had a room in his house, dedicated to the things he found, from $400 snow boards to full toolboxes and audio systems. And the truck driver made about an extra $500 every two months from recycling cans people would throw out. I also stumbled across a $100 bill once at the landfill. I did junk removal for a while and we used to clean out estates of people who died. You can find some nice records or old furnitures that would end up be worth lots of money. One day, after a third week straight of cleaning out estates of the deceased, my coworker and I stood still in this old woman's living room, and kinda just stopped. We realize the value of someone after they pass, or rather, the lack thereof. Here we are throwing out photo albums, books, journals, note cards, all things that were once valuable to somebody, but now they are just being chucked to a garbage truck without any thought. All those things that a person has spent their lifetime accumulate ended up meaning nothing. Often the children come and sort out some stuff, but most of the time it's just get rid of everything. It made me realize that accumulating material goods is really a futile way of living. You can't take it to the grave most of the time and it just end up in a line fill. Jabronus like us would try to make a buck out of the candlesticks that you so adored and thought your children would definitely take. It is morbid to think that we are just literally throwing away someone's life and memory. I don't know, just something to think about. Collect experiences as those cannot be taken by anyone. If the choice is between that nice watch and a weekend trip to Mexico, probably choose the latter. This was in the early 90s. I was emptying the public trash cans in a city center in mid-England. I saw this really expensive bound leather photograph holder book. I took it lobbed it in the cab to check out later. After work I started looking through it, and it started with these fresh-faced young soldiers laughing and gurning at the camera. They were doing their training I think in some leafy camp in England. Then it switched to a fuckhole awful desert. It was the time of Gulf War I. The smiles went, and then the carnage came busted tanks, cars, and people, fires, death, and destruction. Almost unrecognizable burnt corpses. Just horrible horrible shit. Then I stopped looking and threw it away as the owner had intended. I often wonder who threw that away. I hope it was the soldier trying to forget rather than one of his grieving relatives. That was more than 20 years ago, but I think of that poor boy a lot. P.S. On a lighter note I also found a ton of porn. People really throw a lot of porn away. Also a lot of books and some antique bottles and lamps I still have today. I was only a binman for a year. A friend of mine worked for garbage collecting and later at a sorting facility. 
He made a very decent business selling all sorts of electronics and appliances people would leave at the free drop off point. He had hundreds of old computers. Commodores, Amagus, old Macs and gaming consoles, pre PS slash Sparks. He'd switch around the dead parts, if any, resold the components, clean everything in some alcohol solution, where you dip the whole chipboard. He even used some sort of chemical that would de age the plastic. You know how old plastic goes all yellow, he wiped this solution on it, and left for a day or so, and it would look just like new. Not a garbage man, but I used to do security at a wealthy apartment complex. I started to go through the trash, after I found an oven that worked. Ladies would throw away $100, $200 brand new purses. Guxy, Prada, Armani glasses, just because they had tiny tiny scratches on them. This one art teacher would throw away art supplies. This one guy threw away all his bongs and pipes. Grinders. I found a pocket pussy and a giant bottle of lube. Food that was months away from its expiration date. Brand new clothes with the tags still attached. I was literally finding free money. My grandfather used to work at the dump. My family called it the Road 120 hardware store. He brought everything home. Tools galore, all kinds of metal for recycling, furniture, decorative odds and ends. He built my sister and I a playhouse outside that was entirely furnished with people's junk. Child sized table and chairs, a tiny TV and radio, loads of toys that just needed a little scrubbing. My grandparents had a yearly garage sale with all the findings they didn't want and made hundreds of dollars selling people their own fat asses back to them. Growing up, our garbage man would always stop to say what's up while we were outside playing. He was friends with my dad, so it wasn't weird or anything. We called him John the Prophet BC he was always dropping wise phrases on us. We later found out these were just song lyrics. For example, carry on my wayward son, there will be peace when you are done. Anyway, he was always bringing us cool stuff he found, bikes, mp3 players, etc. Fast forward 10 years or so, and I'm living in this house w4 of my buddies. John the prophet is still our garbage man. He would often stop with his latest finds. Usually pornos, or graphic photos of girls he was curious if we knew. Being a small town, we often did. One time after Christmas, he brings us a brand new box 360 still in the box. He said he found it on his route and his kids already had one. Coolest guy ever. I still consider him a close friend. Best part about that 360, I was volunteering at an after school program back then, and shortly after this one of my kids came in bitching that his dad tossed his news box BC he and his brothers were fighting over it. <laughs> Janitorial work over the summer in a movie theater. In 3 months I found about $250, in change and small bills, a very nice scumbag hat with a sticker, that I actually use, because it was surprisingly my size, all kinds of unopened candy, that I'd just save, and then a copy of Pokemon Pearl that had a ton of competitive stuff on it, so I pal parked everything off, and sold the game. After the third Transformers movie came out at midnight I found 50 bucks just sitting on a seat. No one ever came in to claim it. I'm really late to this party, but I'll go ahead anyway. I work in the officer company that collects garbage. I got a call from a customer and she stated that every time they bring their bin back up from the street, something on it burns their skin. I called the operations manager who went out to check it out with the environmental officer. Turns out the next door, neighbor had a meth lab, and was disposing of toxic chemicals in his bean and there was some transfer. Not a binman, but when I was 13 a friend of mine, and I were doing chores for our neighbor, it was punishment for low grades. We mowed the lawn, dusted his trophies you know that kinda stuff. Then it came to taking out the trash. I was holding the black tea rash bag as I dragged it out the door and the handle snapped off, and the bag split out spilled some scrunched up torn paper. Wasn't sure what it was at first. After realizing that all the pieces formed a picture we sat there for a good 15 minutes trying to make sense out of it. It was a picture of 40 year old Betty White in a bikini. Arguments were had, but we eventually split the picture in half. I got those damn legs 